You may know Robert Davi from the silver screen, having acted in films such as Die Hard, James Bond's License to Kill, and the TV series Profiler, but the hard-edged actor can croon with the best of them. He's just released New York City Christmas, a song that is reminiscent of the style of crooner that Frank Sinatra was in his prime. So if you hear the song on the radio, take note, it's not old Blue Eyes, it's Robert Davi. Davi talked to us about recording the tune at the suggestion of Nick Vellalonga, who originally wrote it in the afterglow of the 9-11 tragedy in New York City. It was a, uh, a, a, a rousing, spirited tribute to to New York, to the Christmas that you have in New York, to all the great Christmases growing up, I'm a New Yorker. And anyone that's ever been to New York during the holiday knows how wonderful it is. And, or hasn't been, dreamt about it, or seen the Macy's Day Parade and wondered how all of that was. So, um, it came to me, this was in August, which was quite late, because if you're doing Christmas, you're doing Christmas in May. You know what I mean? So, I says, let me put a team together, and I got Al Schmidt, of course, Chris Walden, who was recommended to me by David Foster as an arranger. And I said, I want to do it as an upbeat, real swing version of this song. He said that the song also gets down to the true meaning of Christmas. I like that it brought it back to, it wasn't just about what it's become in terms of commercialized, but that the season really has another meaning to it. So this song has a duality to it. Because some of the stations aren't playing Christmas songs that, you know, honor Christmas as the birth of Christ. They're playing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Jingle Bells, which are great. But at the, the essence of all of it is this historical reference to the birth of a man 2,000 years ago. Davi said that he wanted to be an actor and a singer like Francis Albert, and he shared his experience of befriending the icon during his first ever acting role in the movie Contract on Cherry Street. We, were, we were, became friends. He was a friend of mine. I had my first Jack Daniels with Frank Sinatra in 1977 in a social club in Little Italy at 2 o'clock in the morning. He saw me, I was, I was there, because here's an Italian-American boy that wants to be an actor singer. And he's doing his first film with Frank Sinatra. The, uh, I'm standing off to the corner in between a shot and I'm kind of like just observing him. He's at the table at the bar with Harry Guardino and um, uh, Martin Gables and some other interesting characters. And he sees me out of the corner of his eye and he goes, Robert, have a drink. I says, I don't drink, Mr. Sinatra. You don't drink, you're fired. I says, I'll have what you're having. And uh, I came over to the bar, he took out the bottle of Jack, puts it on the table. A bucket glass, ice cube, he goes, okay, here's how you do this. Before releasing Christmas in New York, he released an album, Davi Sings Sinatra, on the road to romance. That hit the streets in 2011 and was produced by the late, great Phil Ramone. He also has a big role in the upcoming Stallone-driven Expendables 3, and we'll have more on that in the coming days. Brightens up the night. Holiday shoppers buying presents for you. The hustle and bustle down Fifth Avenue. New York City Christmas.